Hi everyone, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vin PF and welcome to another special December episode of No Nonsense Whiskey where we go away from the usual review style information and uh, try some interesting things. Now you may have seen recently on my channel, uh, I did a blind tasting from Aquavite, Roy Aquavite, and he sent me uh, a wonderful little package through and tried through several drams and didn't do very well on placing them, but when I got the information, I did a bit, bit better. So I have a new challenge now from a different person. This is from James Palmer off Twitter. I'll give you his details in a moment. And he sent me these four samples through, which uh, he has gone A, B, C, D, and I have color coded so that they're in glasses, so I know what they are. Let me just read you his little, uh, his little gubbins. Dear Vin, thank you for taking the time to accept my challenge of a blind tasting. It will work in a similar fashion to the first one you did on your channel, but the whiskies, maybe the challenges, will be slightly different. Initially, I would like you to inspect the four enclosed samples, nose them and taste them. Then you are to order them from the one you like the most to the one you like the least. I would also challenge you to set them in age order from NAS to oldest. Once you are done with this, please open the enclosed envelope and find your first challenge. Maybe there's a few challenges. Good luck, and I look forward to seeing how you get on. All the best, James. Now, if you want to check him out, he's at uh, JDP James P on Twitter, and he's also got a website, James JDParma.co.uk. Uh, he does some other stuff, software engineering, but there's also a whiskey side where he's trying to taste through 101 whiskies from Ian Buxton. So in the interest of time, I'm going to do this a little bit different to the last one and do it all in one complete cup. And uh, I've already poured these out, so let's get straight into it and see where we're at. Let's start with A, green. If you watched the last one, you know I like green. Okay, so this one's definitely a PT one. Hmm, it's PT, but it's quite fresh. Could be indicative of age. Let's um, instead of like nosing them all, I'm going to try them first and see where we get on. Mm, it's very peaty on the on the tongue. There is some other elements to it, but not a hell of a lot. It does taste quite young. I do this a lot. Maybe not a lot, but we'll see. B red. Hmm, okay. Sweet apples. That smells really familiar to me. Sweet apples, kind of space side smells, I'm thinking. Yeah, more of that kind of space side y flavours. I'll wager that's a spacer. That tastes really familiar to me. Coffee. Straight into C, okay. Oh, it's got a really musty nose. Like, a, like an old library or books or something like that. Also, also quite familiar. God, it packs a wallop. But is that from cask strength or is it from a bit of youngness? It's not a hell of a lot in the nose, so I'm reluctant to say cask strength, but it could well be. Hmm. If you remember in the previous one I tried, um, I picked out the high ABV of one really early. That doesn't stand out, but it could be. Got a really nice sweet nose that. Possibly sherried. Mm, again, a high, high tingly, peppery kind of flavour on the tongue, but okay, okay. It's going to be a quick decision, I think, because. Uh, there's no point mulling it over, you know, I'm gonna I'm either gonna be wrong or right, so may as well go for it. So the PT one. 
It's got a nice nose, but. Hmm. Not so weak. Well, this is either, well, it's obviously, uh, it's going to be either Lefroig or Ardbeg, I think. I think probably more the younger Ardbeg. I'd be, I'd be wanting to say Anno at the moment. I've only tried that once. Anno, Anoa, Anoa, whatever. Now this is, I mean, this is so familiar to me. I think I might know what that is. It, it's reminding me exactly of the Tomatin Legacy that I tried in the last blind tasting. That kind of super sweet nose. There's a little bit behind it. Maybe it's a different Tomatin, I don't know. I haven't gone through most of the Tomatin, so... One more smell of this. Musty, I don't like the nose on that. Mm, it's drinkable, for sure. And lastly, that's got a very pleasant nose, that. Mm, okay. Right, okay. Um, tough calls, tough calls all around. This is my least favourite, I think. Blue, C, least favourite. Okay, I think I think orange beats red. This is confusing me. It's got oh, it's got a super nice nose. But a bit lacking on the palate. Oh, it's paining me. I think I might have to put this down here. So, oh, okay. Just stick there, just go with it. In order of preference, I mean they're all they're all in that same ilk, you know. There's there's something about them that I'm not sure about, but I think orange D is my most favourite. B is my Tomatin Legacy, second place. A I think is a PT Ardbeg. I really want to lean towards saying it's the, the new one, the new Anor, but I could be really wrong there. And C, my least favourite. In terms of NAS, that's a really hard one to say because if I'm right, which I'm probably not, is that I think this is this might be that Thomas and Legacy. I think James might be trying to screw with me a little bit there. Um, and if that's the Anor, like I said, they're both no, no age statements. So I'm going to say if, if he's gone... Some are no age and some are older. I'm gonna to have to say that that's the no age statement. That this might be their ten year old. I don't know. Um, it's a bit reluctant to put this in first place, to be fair. But all round, I think it might be the better one. If it is a cask strength, not cask strength, but maybe a bit of a higher ABV at least, maybe 46, or it'd be really young. <laughs> Not sure. And this one. It's really subtle, but it could quite well be aged. Hmm. So maybe no age statement. Next, next, next. Shall I do that at the back? No age statement. Next, next, next. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to be really wrong, but so the next step is to go into the envelope and see where we're at. So as you can see, still sealed, still sealed. Do not open until ready. Challenge one enclosed. Are you sure? Spoilers, have not opened it. So, although I'm not sure you'd tell if I even have to be honest. The postman had a bit of artistic license with it. Okay, yeah, so there is more challenges. Okay, let's put this back here. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Challenge one, please identify the following. The Isla Malt, the other Isla Malt. Okay, that's a bit of a, a curveball. The supermarket owned brand, the Speyside, the 14 year old, the Highland, the most expensive and the cheapest. At this point, you may wish to have a punt at identifying the distilleries as the next challenge will reveal this. Once you have done this and are happy, please open the enclosed envelope for challenge two. Okay, well, I'm flummoxed by the other Isla malt, so I've obviously got something really wrong. There must be a, oh, must be a Brookladdy in there or something like that. Okay, so, well, this is the Isla malt. It reeks of it, it reeks of it. This is the space side. There's no way that's not space side. Highland. Okay. So out of these two here, I've got to get an island and an isla. Damn. Okay, right. This is the other isla. This is the Highland. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Maybe I write these down on here so that I can check it later. The Isla, green, the other Isla, blue. Oh, the supermarket own brand. Uh-oh, okay, I'm in trouble now. Well, it could be either the Isla one or the Highland one, I suppose, because I don't think it's either of those two. Well, I'd better say it's blue, hadn't I? Because that's my least favourite. That'd be the the that'd be the awesome one. The space side is red. Fourteen year old. That's a tricky one. The Highland, I'm gonna say, is orange. The most expensive and the cheapest. So the cheapest, I'm gonna say, the, the supermarket as well. Just I'm just gonna be all wrong. I'm just gonna be all wrong. Uh, most expensive. Tough, tough one. Probably the Isla. Green. Yeah, okay, so I think I, I made a, some sort of guesses at them. So I think if I'm saying, oh, I didn't say the 14 year old one, did I? That ain't gonna be the supermarket brand. Let's say orange then as well for that. That means this one only has so yeah, so I think I still think that's the tomatin. I still think this is maybe Ardbeg. This I've said is the cheapest, the supermarket owned brand, but the other Isla. No, that can't be right. Maybe it maybe, maybe this is the Glen Marnock Isla. I mean probably not, because that's smoky, but we'll see. And then this one is the Highland. And the 14 year old. <laughs> right, okay, I'm sticking with it. Guns in, let's go. Challenge two. Are you sure, spoilers? Let's go, let's go. Oh, there's another envelope as well. Warning, results enclosed. Let's put that back there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty wrong. I'm pretty wrong. <laughs> Maybe not. We'll see. So in here, please identify the following whiskies. We've got a Brookladdy Isla Barley 2007. Now, I haven't had that, so I don't know what that smells like. The Ben Bracken Speyside. Do you know what? Ben Bracken, what's that? That's Aldi or Lidl, isn't it? They've probably got that from Tomatin. It's, I think that's that's almost exactly the same as the Legacy. Uh, the Kalila 12 years, I'm pretty confident that's still that. And the Aaron 14 years. Okay, so going by the previous challenge then, um, I don't think I'm too far wrong, you know, to be honest. I think red is, uh, sorry, uh, B is still, I think that's still the the Ben Bracken Speyside. So I think I might have said Tomatin Legacy and I think it might just be Tomatin stuff. They've been known for that before, haven't they? 
why not? So we've got B and red. The Kalila, that's got to be it. That's got to be it. There's no way it isn't. 12 year old. And that's the green. And the Aaron. Okay, this is. A, I mean, this is a tough one. I, I still think I'm right with that being the Highlands and and the 14 year old orange. And blue is the Brooklady. Probably. I don't know. I've never tried that before. Okay, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. That's what I think. Let's go for it. Come on. There's no point worrying about it, is there? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think... Uh, Oh, uh, okay, a little bit wrong. Okay, right. Tell you, tell you. Results. Bottle A, which is green. Kalila, 12 years old. Got it. Isla, bang on. Happy with that. Never would have guessed it originally. Bottle B, red, was the Ben Bracken Speyside. Now, if that isn't Tomatin Legacy, then I'll eat my hat. Or similar, you know, Tomatin stock anyway. Bottle C, is blue that's the Aaron 14 yeah I get it and bottle D interesting enough is a Brooklady Isla, Isla Barley 2007 which is the most expensive one <laughs> and I picked the most expensive one again I've got expensive taste but that said my second favorite so that the in terms of order of what I placed them in is the Brooklady Isla Barley pretty happy with that the Ben Bracken Speyside second the Kalila 12 year old and then the Aaron 14 is last. That's going to grate a lot of people. Sorry about that, people. There's nothing to it. Mm. It's interesting, but it's 46% mm. though. That's interesting. And I did say this was higher ABV as well. That's 50%. Excellent. Well, overall, okay, let's, should we check back and have a look at the, these ones here? So the Isla Malt, I said, was green. A, yes, correct. The other Isla, B. No, I've, oh, blue. Um, blue, no. Got that wrong. The supermarket own brand, blue, no, got that wrong. The space side, red. Yeah, got that right. Brilliant. The 14 year old orange. Wrong. The Highland orange. Wrong. <laughs> the most expensive green. Which was the... Actually the second most expensive. So nearly, nearly. I'll give myself that. And B. The Ben Bracken. Speyside. Got that right. Okay. I have to say I'm uh, pretty happy with that. It was a lot tougher without the kind of pictures and things like that that uh, Roy gave me, I must admit. I don't think I'd have ever got that right straight up. A um, bit disappointed that I got those two the wrong way around, but I have never tried the island Isla Bali before, so not sure I would have got that. The, it's really tough to pick out a, a non-peated Isla if you've not tried the whole Brooklady range, like I haven't. But other than that, I, I think I'm pretty, pretty well done on the rest of them. I don't know what you think. If you disagree or agree with what I've picked, especially with this Aaron 14, sorry about that, Aaron. Um, not a bad whiskey, but I preferred the others over this, so I'll probably get a bit of black backlash for that, but never mind. Do let me know what you thought about this uh, video in the comments below. Do check out James Palmer on Twitter and on his website. I'll leave links below. And don't forget to check out my uh, other blind tasting that I did with Roy, if you haven't seen that one already. And don't forget to check out more content just like this from me every Monday and Thursday in December and back to every Thursday in January and do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.